I know we're going to get to the canonical uh, first dictionary. Maybe not dictionary. It's in the original context here. So only some words are highlighted and colorized, highlighted. The others, not so much. It's good for narrowing down focus on what you really want to. So, but you know, all the details are also important. Whether it's just history or something more. So, I guess it's a big one. So, for instance, you can see, let's take, for example, when Jesus is talking about the kingdom of heaven in a positive light, then unlike the word with the rosy red color, kind of pinkish, I guess. But if Jesus talks about hell and eternal damnation, well, it's going to be a darker shade of red than here. And that way it's easy to see from the remote distance which verses are going to be talking about certain things a certain way. This took forever by the way. I really hope some of the other would be interested in supporting some of the work I do, because this is awesome, but it's by no means complete. I'm sure it's something you can add to it. I usually got a thing on Google Box where if you have a mouse over a certain word, I'll automatically do a search on it. Say so you want to see what a certain instrument is, and I'll show you pictures of the instrument. Or if you pick a name of a country or land, and I'll show you a geographical map of the area. If it's a tricky word, it's hard to define, you can have it set to automatically look up the definition for the word. So it's all very interactive and alive. Technology makes it seem so much more alive. Sometimes. So the flicker rate isn't a problem either. The purple, of course, is positive. The green is mostly neutral, and the orange is like very much up. But it's all in spectral order. All colors and places. So it's very easy and it's not very nice. And the nice thing is once you've marked up a certain group of words, a certain line, it's easy to change the color of it later on and align it with something different. And then when it has the link to it. The words of mine. So far, we're not. 